It's kind of part two of our uh, training video for our client that's receiving this. We will have this trailer delivered down to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he should receive it tomorrow. Uh, this is the Hydratech SCU 3509KAF series. This has the 747cc Kohler engine, which is the original 30 horse Kohler. It's got the belt driven TSF series general pump and a 2900 watt onboard generator basically uh, engine pump and generator here um, the benefit of uh, this open SCU uh, floor plan first of all you can see that there's actually covering the engine pump and generator with the burner and the control panel which makes it more weatherproof um, you can see the sight glass on the pump so what you want to do is when you're checking the oil level there's a red dot here uh, that even with the red dot, you know you're good on oil on level ground. Your flow switch and pressure regulator, this is a pressure trap on loader valve. Actually has a, a coupling here that allows you to disconnect it very easy. This is more for service techs and end users. But allows it to be serviced very, very quickly and easily. Other units can take an hour just to get a part like that off. This, within a couple minutes, it's off the machine. Makes it extremely serviceable. What comes off with the unloader too at that coupling here is your pressure switch, your flow switch, thermal relief valve. Uh, so basically it's extremely easy and very, very, very serviceable. The frame is all stainless steel construction on the frame, control panel, heat shield, belt guard, and burner housing. Front and back, there's no steel on the housing assembly itself. We have a lifetime warranty on the new spiral last heating coil. So anybody had to replace the coil can understand how expensive that can be. The heating coil is under a lifetime warranty. It's a double ceramic insulation blanket. So it holds the heat extremely well. Heats very quickly, then the burner shuts off, stays off for a while, kicks on as needed. That often makes it one of the most fuel efficient hot water machines in the industry, especially in this class and category. This outperforms a lot of four gallon a minute hot water pressure washer models when it comes to that. We've saved guys up to three and a half gallons of diesel fuel an hour once they switched over to these series machines, which is a big saving. You know, it could be eight to twelve dollars an hour depending on diesel fuel prices at the time. Got a pressure gauge. It does have a high pressure chemical injector. You have an hour meter on this package. This is your burner switch to turn your heat on and off. It's a lighted switch so it indicates to make sure everything's operating thermostat control and then you well I'm sorry this is your auxiliary on off this is your burner switch which is in red which allow you to know that your burner is operating when you pull the trigger on the gun you get heated generated then the light will come on the auxiliary switch is actually two plugs behind the control panel that had uh, ground fault circuit interrupted with plugs in uh, accessories like our wastewater recycling system that's on this trailer so this is self-contained one engine with full wastewater recovery and filtration. It also has the Pro Control remote control system here in order to operate the triple tanks. Uh, this is a phenomenal trailer. From this portion of the video, you, you don't get to see it right away. As a matter of fact, I'll show you the trailer before the end of the video. It's an electric start engine. You got your choke control. Your throttle is actually staying at full throttle because you have a generator. You never want to uh, vary the RPM on a hot water pressure washer with a generator because if you lower the RPM you lower the voltage on the burner so you can have some issues so you always want when running this machine and with hot water on a 115 volt generator to make sure the RPM stays at the rated full throttle. Uh, once again unloader, flow switch, pressure switch just so you know where they are and what they are in order to run and start the machine, you want to go ahead and check your dipstick. Your dipstick is right here in the back of the unit. Two quarts of oil, you want to check it regularly. Uh, we recommend a 50-hour oil change. Uh, manufacturer goes as high as 100 hours on the oil change, which is nice if you have an hour meter to track that. Uh, I figure you can get from Michigan to South Florida and back in about 50 hours. That's a long trip. I would change the oil and that's why I recommend with only two quarts of oil that you change oil. You use synthetic oil. You have your air filter here. Just unscrew the nut on top. Easy to change the air filter. You do have an oil filter on the engine on this side here. You want to change your oil filter too. 
you have an engine fuel filter here and on the back here which I'll uh, move around to the side since we went through everything off the front of the unit um, this side here we have from top down our this is your 115 volt uh, burner system with a Beckett burner. This is a 115 volt burner. You can tell by the huge size of the motor and the durability of this. These last a lot longer than 12 volt systems, um, especially depending on the flow. So we really had a lot of good luck here. Um, you have your diesel fuel filter cartridge with RL water separator, which you can open the valve here and drain any water you see inside the fuel bowl. You have your diesel fuel tank on this side. You have your belt guard for, and your pump on this side. The split belt guard, so if you have to pull it off and service it, it's easy to service and get to. You have a pressure relief valve here. So the pump actually gets over pressurized, that'll pop off, let water leak out. That's an indication that you want to check it for service and have somebody take a look at it. You do have the pressure gauge too that help you to indicate your pressure. So, and you also have a high pressure chemical injector on this unit here, which is the injector hose here. And normally if you want to bypass back the tank, you don't use a high pressure injector. The soap can get back to your tank, so you want to kind of understand that. That could be used sparingly or as needed but normally with our high volume downstream injector you don't need to do that let me pull to this side of the machine you got your gas tank right now they switch to black fuel tank are actually ratcheted, they're non-vented to meet carb emission, your carb filter, carb, which is the carbon filter for carb emissions is here. You have your high volume injector here going to our remote control pro control system. Your high pressure discharge is here. Uh, you do have a quick disconnect here so you can actually run another high pressure line off of this connector to run dual operators off of it from here. This customer didn't get the extra hose or hose reel, so that, that's one thing. And then we have the chemical tanks and everything on there, which go through our remote control. The remote control system is up here. Uh, that works off of remote control the side of a uh, of a garage door remote control. Basically, and your battery and your battery box is right up front here. And that's your belt guard for your generator. And there is also another pressure relief valve here and a steam burst relief valve on the back of the unit. And this is where the thermostat control taps into. Alrighty. Uh, let me go ahead and, and uh, end this portion of the video.